Uh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, are we, we are. talking now? We're live right now. We're live on my side. Okay. Cool. Uh, greetings. Greetings, citizens. Yes. Hi. So, <laughs> so uh, um, we've been in a little bit of a collab, uh, been working on a co collaboration for like about a month or so? This this was gonna well this was originally gonna be for Halloween. Really? So. We were playing this for Halloween? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We were and I well I kinda just it was my bad mostly. We're but here um, now. we're here now. And we're gonna prom these monsters. That's what we're gonna do. From a real yeah. world. Go, go make sure to follow uh, Justy Guy, too. Is he... Yes, uh, likewise, I have put um, Frozen's info up. I don't know how this looks on over on the, over there, but I've got his info right up, up here, and I'm nodding at it. Twitch and Twitter. You should go follow those things um... right now. Yeah, I, I just put your name in the title. I didn't put, like... That's fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure that will work for uh, everything, right. I'll, for most of my things. I'll, I'll go, I'll go and, uh, yeah. And, uh, no, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. Because we got, we got some dates and some proms and such. I just gotta go to the thing and then cover it up because I never got a chance to do so. Oh, yes, oh, that, that's is, that a, is a that's good thing to do. Stuff in. That's the height stop. All right, so yeah, we're going to be playing some Monster Prom. Transitioning. So this, I, all right, so, ah, oh, man. Uh, this game is a competitive visual novel. Hell yeah. Where we cannot interact with each other. But we do try to get a date. Is, whoops. Yeah. And as a visual novel developer um, who's thought about multiplayer, I am actually really, really excited to see how this oh, is you, pulled you, off. You are so. trying, you're trying to develop a visual novel? Uh, yes. Um, we, we can talk about that later or another time. But yeah, I've been uh, working on it for a couple of years now. Um, it used to be called the Alien of the Occult Club, but we changed its name to Stardust Dreamers, and if you Google that, that's what you'll find, hopefully, unless SEO is killing us. But, um, yeah. Oh, I need to click ready. Starting match. And yeah. I can get rid of the okay. small bunnies. Uh, let's go full game. I mean, that's not really like, a big like difference. A 15 minute difference. Anyway. It's 15 minutes, so you know, that's not a huge difference. Lot. Full game. True. Well, I mean, it's up to you. I, I, I do visual novel streams, so I mean, I, I can, no, I'm used yeah, to talking a lot. Let's go the full game. Let's get whatever you're more comfortable with. Full, full game. Um, no, All right. Who, should, you're the guest. Who should you're we narrator. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Spooky high school, the sweetest, ye sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Yeah, Choose player me. one, I believe so that is you. We have four characters here. We have. Mold, Fire Lady, Frankenstein Jr., or Adam Jr., because, you know, Frankenstein used to be called Adam. Oh, no, no, mm. zombie. He's a zombie. That's Frankenstein Jr. I usually like to go okay. to zombie guy. He goes to put in a custom name. I am Wowza Bo Bowser! Cool. Whoa, whoa. Oh my, holy shit. Oh, I'm getting a raid over on mine. Uh, hi, Celine. Um, thank you for the raid. Um, Frozen and I are just starting up um, a uh, monster party game, multiplayer game. Um, 
Oh, I should get Komaida off my screen. Whoa. Oh, that was him talking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hi, Selena. I need to, I need to just get Komaida off my screen. Hold on. Because that's very weird that he's there. Unless we can play as him. I mean, if he's a secret character, I'm not going to mind. There we go. Let's move him. All right. Do I do I have control or do you, you have, oh, have control now? Okay. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, you're cute. I'm going to go with you and you're blue. Vicky. Vicky. Okay. Just stay. That's <laughs> so no. dumb. But... Okay. Let's go with that. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The Monster Prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic Huzzah! classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Oh dear. Yeah! <laughs> Damien LaVey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of dogs. Everyone here is over 18. <laughs> nice. Scott Howell, a werewolf, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. known as Michael J. Fox. Liam de Lioncourt, 4XX, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. I do think that's Aww. kind of cheating. It, it, he's over 400 years old. <laughs> it's kind of cheating. I mean, it depends. Like, it, 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 like, like, is it is it vampire years counted in dog years? Because like oh, well, that kind of like, thing. Because like, you know, if it's like that, it, it could work. Like maybe he's maybe, but I mean, like if he's physically, you know, if he's might physically have been on this world for like four hundred years, but if it took like a hundred years for him to just like finish being potty trained, you know, that sounds like a nightmare. But I mean, it's the same with dogs, except yeah, in reverse. Yeah, 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 you can kind of believe that. Next person. Yay! Polly Geist, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. she's related to the same ghost girl from Scooby-Doo. 22? Hmm. What? I thought. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Okay, so by self-made what? Did she tape the snake uh, to her head? Or I, I think it's like, no, I don't believe that. Either, either, either taped or stapled. I mean, I'd say stapled. Yeah, like a self-made Gorgon is kind of an interesting way to go about it. I'm gonna just move myself a little over on my stream so you're not in the way. You're, you're good though. It was as it was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. She grew snakes from scratch, maybe, maybe. But as I already said, we were young, we were unafraid, and we were ready to start. Our engines. Da -da -da. Like <laughs> Welcome to Monster Crom's stupidest pop quiz ever. Are you hot or not? Take this quiz to find out. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so it's many true. different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko the you are. Talking? I'm not sure. I think it's the magazine. Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. TM, we'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! Let's see, let's see how bad this is gonna get. Alright, okay. Uh, Frozen, what would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? 
example of a more nutritious breakfast option so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. A tiny piece of sharp metal so every scoop will be filled <laughs> full of thrill and danger. Really? The phone Dang. number oh. of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He is so petty. Oh my god, the ah! reference is to Tony the Tiger Twitter. Oh no. Oh no! Wait, that's gonna be bad. Um. Very tempted with number two. Oh, I just saw the picture. 1 800. Great! Oh, boy. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I can't oh, be dating no. somebody like that in their 50s. Where's the 80s now? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh god. Tiger's coming oh, no. 80s now. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, I mean, food is food. Frosted Flakes must really... I mean, all these options are now. terrible, but I'm going to have to go with, this, with the middle one. Same question. Oh, okay, now I'm up. Uh, what would the coolest prize you could find in the box of cereal? Ah, uh, Just stay. Like, um... Well, if it were me, like, I'd like a tiny piece of sharp metal, so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. No, um... Yeah, I'm not into cereal either. I'd like a sample of a more nutritious breakfast sausage, so more people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful Oh, brand. yes! Be a visionary. What will the next big social media Greek, craze be? Greek Agoras, the literal, the literal Greek Agoras, reinstated in our cities, places where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That's social media. That's social media I want to log into. Oh, so it's just like pray to the gods and all that shit. Mm. Bullshit. With the with the dollar sign. It's your regular special network, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. <laughs> and the money goes ah! to people exposed to that bullshit. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. I don't... Herbert? Arbert? Robert. Arbert. Now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to do through the app by its users. Oh, so it's like Twitch like plays Pokemon, but but the actual thing. But if you oh, die in the game, course. you die for real. Twitch plays Robert. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I I'm actually one this middle one. All right. Well, I think just stay. Would um. Let's see, uh, well, hold on. You said, places where philosophy and art are discussed by the greater minds are... I like this one, but... We're gonna go rogue. From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to through the app by its users. Hell yeah. Wolfie! What would be a killer Next accessory? Next with your own name, in case you forgot. You won't believe how many times this <laughs> happened. Uh, coolest itself, the fancy brass okay. knuckles, a fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy, sunglasses, at night, and shiny armor. Brass knuckles. Hands down, brass knuckles. What? Shiny armor, of course. Yes! I got the one that I wanted. I have no so idea how this game works. There so. are multiple um, places. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's your turn. You gotta do no, so. Yeah. Oh, can we, I move? We do, no. We do this by taking you. turns. So we can go to each one of these places: the auditorium, the classroom, the library, outdoors, gym, and the bathrooms. We also have stats up here. We got smarts. We got boldness. We got creativity, <laughs> charm, fun, and money. Hmm. Money. Uh, oh. I assume the, those are your stats right one, now, since it's your turn. The green one is my stats. The blue ones are your stats. Oh, that so that that is, makes sense. Um, each one of our, each one of those six states are tied to a stat here. Yeah. 
Hmm. So somebody somebody has smarts. Somebody has boldness. Somebody has creativity, charm, fun, money. And you want to go to the one that you have the most of, so you can get that, so you can get that fate. I know which ones are which, but I'm gonna give just a guy the hard okay. time and not tell him. Okay, yeah, I so can work with this. Blind. I uh, I'm, He's I'm blind. blind. I haven't played this game in years. In about a year or two, roughly. So I want to go to. Okay. I want to increase. So okay, here's also another thing too. Depending on where you go, your stat will also improve. So you go to you go okay. to the library. You get some more. You get some more money. Go to classroom, smarts, so on. I see. Forth. I see. Uh, no, I'm going to the bathroom. I need to take the world's largest dump. No. That day, you. Uh, uh, do you want to read your narrations, or should you I just can, you go, can do go all in on narrating? All right. <clears throat> that day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Later, you come across Damien and Vera in the hallway, nonchalantly holding a locker shut with all their strength. The locker has a sign on it that says, Nothing to see here, and is screaming. I'll, I'll take over, Damien. Shut! <laughs> okay. Oh, you interrupted me, sorry. <laughs> shut the hell up, you! <laughs> Adorable, fluffy little... Fluffy! You see, we're spending quality time with our new pet. Isn't that right, Damien? From somewhere within the locker, you hear, My parents will pay anything! Before Damien <laughs> kicks the door! That's right, adorable, quite fluffy. Who's going to stay quiet? Who's going to stay quiet if he knows what's good for him? <sighs> you know, I don't really have a great track record with pets. I had some mice for half a day, but my hair ain't all of them. <laughs> we are wrong. Sure, it would, sure would be a shame if our new pet died before we receive the true joy of Shh. pet ownership. Yes, exactly. The sweet, sweet bank account filling, filthy rich making joy of pet ownership. Surely you have lots of knowledge about pet care. Why not share some of it? All right, um, you know what? Pets love hardcore death metal all the time to drown out their noises. If you love something, uh, Is that true? Depends on the animal, I'd say more snakes. God, if you I love something, knew. set it free. Just implement the tracking device first. Both good at ones, but I want to say this one. Perfect! Oh, it's already there. Metal. Yeah, my bad. Let's crank that shit! Damien pulls out his banshee, oh, his eye banshee, and blasts his favorite sludgecore anthem. Every swear word I know! Explicit version. Yeah! <laughs> Perfect. This is precisely what we need in order to make sure we don't blow our cover. At that moment, Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, rushes down the hall toward the three of you, bellowing wildly and waving his paws. Fuck. <sighs> what, is blasting profanity-filled music at class disrupting decibels against the rules? This school is so strict. Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, hauls all of your asses to detention, where there is no music to be heard. Other than the sound of you scrubbing ectoplasm out of the toilets, you lose minus two smarts and minus oh, one no. fun. I forgot what the two and the three is. Let's go. It's just Stay's turn. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. We apparently are charming and smart. Hell yeah. Uh, but we're not very creative. Ugh, I don't like that. 
Okay, well, we need to learn how to be creative, so, um... I guess we'll go to the auditorium. That seems like a creative place. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. <gasps> Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is oh, yeah. pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Yay! After that, you engage in a deadly match of truth or dare or death with Polly, and that would be a super interesting event to cover. But then the two of you spot Miranda and Liam deep in an intense conversation, and it's bound to be much more interesting. I'll take, I'll take uh, Mira. Or uh, the uh, ghost girl. Hey, babes. You are making Congrats. quite the noise, and I love anything that, that makes quite a noise. What's up? Hey, you two. Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement. You see, we wanted to start our own school club. You know, and intellectually rewarding and extracurricular that enriches our minds while probably not being mentioned ever again in the future because continuity at this school seems to be a bit random. Noise? Let's do it! Y'all know my favorite things in the world. Oh. Hmm? Drugs. Okay, I can do her too. <clears throat> Sexual activities? <laughs> no nice. dummies, that's too. No, oh, damn it. Ah. No dummies, that too, but I meant chess and Russian literature. Stop treating me as if oh. I were two dimensional. I am shocked. Let's start a literature club. <laughs> huh, I'm not sure. Do you remember what happened last year when we joined the literature club? We wrote, we wrote dope poems and made new friends. I am pressing X to doubt. No. Oh. The other thing. Oh, yes, that's right. So weird. I almost forgot. I meant. I. I mean, that's. That's how I died. You know. What? Nani? She died in the literature club? Anyway, the thing is, Miranda and I are already in between two ideas. I propose we start the Club Club! A delightful meta club where we enjoyed ourselves by designing and crafting new school clubs. Uh huh. Boring! I propose the Little Pony Sweet Dreams Club, a club where we would spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies. Whoa, you two really know how to sound two-dimensional. But in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No, our lives are fueled by the conflict and the confrontation that can only be solved by choosing between two options. Uh -huh. I see what you did there. That's why we need to choose which club is the best one, because Just A always seems to choose based on who she wants to ask to prom. So, which one should we go for? Just remember, one of the ideas includes ponies. Hmm, a tough choice. Was it because I, I'm like super drunk right now? A tough choice indeed. It's your opportunity to, to convince Polly of one of the options because no one is preventing you from making choices based on who you want to ask to prom. I mean, the uh, pony one's at night, so it technically is a nightclub. The best club is clear that. Oh, fuck that. I mean, I mean, uh, the pony one is at night, so it technically counts as a nightclub. So real. Oh, good point, Just A. I do like nightclubs. You do realize it would be nothing like an actual nightclub, right? Are you sure? Have you been to this Little Pony Sweet Dreams nightclub? N no, Less but... butts and more butts, boo. Pony butts! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. How much? Oh dear. 
ponies have majestic buttocks indeed. Ooh, <laughs> Lord. Oh my. Whoa, now I need to see it myself. I hope they know how to shake those pony asses. Ah. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. The only thing I understood is that my proposal has won, and that's the only thing that matters. Huzzah! Just stay. It might be true you only make choices based on who you want to ask to prom. Actually, no, that time that was a pretty easy one. But if that's true, we are off to a good start. Wink. Fuck yeah! You can't wait to tell rad bedtime stories to ponies alongside Miranda. Meanwhile, you gain plus two charm and one plus one smarts. Let's trade places. Decide player order. Well, uh, challenge. which one should we do? Yeah, there's. Oh, a, I think there's you're in here. Or random. Let's, let's just do a challenge. Oh, I have much no a idea challenge what either means. We're going to be verbally just doing a challenge. And random is just to like pick randomly. Okay. Everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, like a made-up one, like or one. So I'm thinking Pepsi. Okay, uh, uh, Pixiv. That counts. counts, right? I don't know, I'm, I'm looking at Roy, I've got Roy down, I mean, my R down there, yeah, so that's, that's the first that's thing that came to mind. Fine. Player order is decided based on how funny or cr and crazy it would be if the selected brand teamed up with popular K-Bot top. Uh, hmm. I don't, I don't know if either of these would I mean, be actually yours be all that would funny. Be, because isn't Pixiv like uh... I mean, it's like uh, uh, Japan's yeah. um, deviant art. They have, they really have a TLDR. green pop. Advertising it would be actually kind of out there. I mean, mine's Pepsi, so Pepsi. Pepsi is probably the only one. All right. Done. I mean, so yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Week one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um. Oh, I have. This is important. Uh. Okay. So what? So uh, the thing is, you want to, uh, depending on who you want to go to prom, you go sit at their table, and then an event will happen. Much to like, huh. like with the uh, choosing which room to go with. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, we already know these folks, so let's go over here. You arrive at your table to find the coven eating and Polly and Miranda screaming. We're under attack! Alarm! Alarm! Summon the guards! I don't know, that wasn't her voice so long. This is the bizarre mind powers on me! The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin! She has the shades, just like me! Clearly because of the evil twin thing. So the coven is technically three characters here. So. So should we both do it at well, the same no, time? They still talk individually. They're not. They're not like a hive mind oh, okay. thing. That would be <laughs> ah, I got you. Should we just alternate on who based on whoever talked last? Sure. All right. Who's so me? I talked. Who last. talked last? I don't remember now. Oh, okay, so then I guess I go. We're not attacking anyone. We're eating. Uh, what do you mean? Graceful. Less attractive. Lies. Subterfuge. Feel them in my brain make me less cool and sexy. Ah! Always the same with you. Every single lunch hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quiet. Or er, quick. Save them from this fiendish menace. Perhaps do so quietly, I don't know. We'll see. Joust them in Miranda's honor. Drug their food? I'm not that... Uh, we're gonna joust. Fuck yeah. You slap a colander on your... Okay, this wasn't quite how I thought we were gonna go. Uh... uh Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some sound effects going here. You'd slap a colander on your head, a baking sheet on your chest, and a jousting lance under your arm. 
My hero, charge! Vanquish the invaders! Whoa, hey, we don't want any trouble. We'll just move over there. <sighs> My knight in shiny armor. Victory! The day is saved. Oh, what? valiantly fought, oh, noble champion. Oh, can just disintegrate into a pile of turtles? Why am I just super high? Uh... Yes. You think that question uh, pretty much answers sure. itself. All right, my turn. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Hell see what yeah. David and, and uh, Nosferatu are doing. You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. You can't, you can't <laughs> eat that. First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. So it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lech's phylactery. Yes, that those words, indeed. Part of this, part of this balanced breakfast. You're it's just lunch. jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm nervous that I'm not going to. That. Well, I'm nervous that's that that's not going to happen. That that always. Uh, that indeed. Looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic cred at the same time. Damien, don't eat it. You won't have room for all the baby seals I brought you. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, yeah, I guess that that, that, that would be true. Liam's right, so. Damien. You should make him eat it. Ooh. Both good options. Both really good options. Right, let's go to the chaos around here. Make him eat it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. I forgot about the golden rule. Do unto others. Whatever the hell you want because it's funny. What? No, this is an outrage. I don't even eat food, let alone inedible objects suffused with an eldritch with eldritch magic. Well, there's the first time for everything, Dracula loser. Down the hatch. Damien force feeds the dread artifacts to Liam. He's instantly possessed with dark, a dark energy, as opposed to his normal rose energy. I am the Lord of the Night, the yes, arch of ice, devourer of joy. What a nerd. Liam has to go to the nurse's office to get the curse removed, while you and Damien rob a bank to celebrate. I gain money. Uh, okay. All right, so sure. yeah, the challenges are more like, can you convince to be in first place? That's how a lot of the challenges are. Okay. Or a random as well. Just okay. Random. So, uh, you're a boss. Uh, I see this is go with random because the challenges are kind of like, kind of bland, to be honest. And it's just like. All right, sounds good to me. The die is cast. Rosen and Justin. Um, All right, sure. it's the evening. Pretty much the same rules apply as the morning part. Neat. Um, hmm. Nice. Now, I'm gonna increase my fun. What's oh. that? So this is another character. She's pretty much a Ooh. our um our market person. Welcome to my mm. little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you to stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be needed at some very specific moments. So take a look. Mm. So we have cocaine. Oh, it's nice yeah. how it's all got a bag of regular cocaine. Because apparently we can't afford the hyper shit. A blanket with two holes. Literally a white blanket with two eye holes into it. It's, it's a ghost costume. It's a ghost costume. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, a corpse. Um, a penguin mask. 
What? What is the description of this thing? I had no idea you appreciated that good old reverse Roman. What does that mean? I'll you right now. Do not look that up. All right, I'll take. I won't. I, I, I must won't. admit, it's kind of hot that you're into that kind that kinky shit. <laughs> Did you remember to make sure that the thing was 18 plus? Because I, because that's how my stuff is always motivational. I mean, we'll see. I, I, I didn't. I, I, I'm sure this isn't as bad oh, as Corpse Party. So, uh, a motivational poster starring Bob Ross. Uh, oh. I guess okay. the time giving. The hype station. Or, uh, no, uh, a PR agent. Okay. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh I think it's a baggy. I'll say that. A fake badass tattoo. Increase my streak cred by 9,000. Hmm. That is a high number. That is definitely what just what I need. Maybe later. Some impractical yet kind of funny glasses. I never really understood those glasses. Do they, do they block out? What, what do they block out <laughs> exactly? Besides? They make you look cooler. They make you blind. A uh, Russian novel with insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Uh, whoa. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, the description is kind of right. You can always use online encyclopedia trademark to get the general idea. So. Yeah. In a I sex, suppose. In a sexy fake Latin accent. Ah. <laughs> uh. How does that work? How do you buy that? I mean, if you're a robot, I guess you well, could like. I'm a zombie, it. so just replace the vocal cords, and I should be fine. And you're, uh, a, Franken and that, you're a Frankenstein creature, so pretty work. much the same rules apply. But you can, but you can auto tune mm. yours. Mm, but, like uh, can I fight a cat girl? No. Hmm. I have no idea what to get. <laughs> I think it's to start up an event, and I don't exactly what those are. Are those the ones with the event, or is it the ones uh, under them well, that have the event? Uh, the, I can't tell. Because at the bottom of the flag would be uh, on the uh, under uh, ones. I think, I think it's the one that's overlapping. As, as game okay. rules have that always told sense. me. I wish you could get the cocaine, though. I'm too poor. Oh uh, no, let's get, let's get a PR. Purchased. A uh, pregent. A PR agent! Oh! Oh, not a pregent. What is a pregent? Whoops! <laughs> you purchased a pregent. Uh, it's just another word, <laughs> another way of wrongly pronouncing pregnant. <laughs> oh no. When's the baby do? Let's go! Alright. Let's see here. Hmm, well, I guess I've decided to make creativity go up, so... Should I go there again, or... I mean, my smarts are pretty high, so... The, my charm the library is also pretty money. high. That's smart. Oh, interesting. Okay, where is this? Oh, there's bathrooms. I don't need to go there. I'm dead. Uh... You, you pretty much have money just to try to get, like... Like the stuff at the shop, like I did. Okay. Well, uh, oh, I, I like how the auditorium went last time. Oh, it's the same thing. Hmm. Oh, all right. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Damn. Roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate to something a bit more useful. 
Mm, it seems seven ro ro roses equals two creativity points. Sweet! You gain plus two creativity. <laughs> As you wander around, talking to yourself like a weirdo, and yeah, that sounds like me, you notice Miranda walking around, talking to herself like a weirdo! Oh <gasps> my god! My soulmate! I guess. She seems to be addressing an imaginary crown. Greetings, fellow or classmate. maybe not. Oh, hello. I was just practicing my royal wave for when I am crowned prom queen. I feel there is a lot to be learned before I ascend the throne. Naturally, as a princess, I am already great at wearing crowns, talking to cute animal friends, quelling rebellions through excessive force, and singing sweetly. But I lack administrative experience. I have never so much as issued a decree. I wonder what my first should be. You don't have the heart to tell her that the role of prom queen doesn't come with sovereignty. Maybe you should just give her some suggestions instead. Hmm. Taxes! Taxes are fun. Ain't every student make? These are both very good options, although... If every student was pink, I, a blue zombie, would stand out amongst them, making me the most popular. That's, we gotta go with that one. <gasps> ah, yes, pink! Or paint! The Great Equalizer! How much more docile, more uniform, more color-coordinated they will be. That is actually the opposite of my reasoning, but if it makes you happy, I'll take it. Of course, I suppose people do have other distinguishing features that paint wouldn't take care of. Some have fangs, for example, but that's an easy fix. We issue prosthetic fangs for oh, everyone! On the other direction. Or even... Uh, 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 I am down. Or even easier, simply remove the fangs of anyone who has them. Yes, yes, that's a good starting place. We shall go from there. Everyone will be See, so that's, that's free. See, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, you may have planted the seeds for a rather unsavory political regime, but Miranda is excited about it, so uh, yay? Uh, sorry, fellow students, you gained plus two fun and plus one creativity. But then everyone died, so, um... Oh, something happened to just day. Let's go. But what could it be? Let's go. You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you, those damned ninja bastards. I'll get you for this, Sasuke. When you spy a much more- <laughs> Yo, fuck, Hammer. I need your advice about something. What did Sasuke get you to? You know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine pack abs. It's love, and I think I might just be in it with your buddy Frozen. Oh. And sure, love is already hardcore, but because the feelings are so, so strong, and that's badass. Yes? But the, the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that Frozen has is a is as hardcore as as I think he is. And of course there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know him pretty well. Do you know what his inner murder weapon would be? Frozen, yeah, do you want me to be your wingman on this? Or wing girl? Okay. Um, duh, of course you do. By which you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. So now you've got, so now's the time to decide Frozen's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick, unless you want to, in which case, totally go for it. Uh... Frozen, which one is the one you want? Top one. <clears throat> like, Major cardiovascular diseases. Frozen is the ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, and something capable of catching up to the tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. Damn! I wouldn't have even thought of that. Hell yeah. If major cardiovascular diseases are on, were a knife, 
<laughs> what a fucking line. They would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they, if they were a sword, they would be two katanas. If they were a gun, they would be an atomic bomb. What? What? How does that work? You, you don't, you don't want to huh? Huh? Wow. Well, cardio cardiovascular disease was raging and frozen this entire time. I, I never uh, even knew it. What? Nice. I don't think that's quite what I said, but well, well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you were the one who started this metaphor, you know that Frozen what? isn't likely to die. Unless he is dying to go to the prom with Damien, in which case, BAM! You're welcome, Thank Frozen. you. And you gain plus three boldness yourself. Let's trade yeah, places. Keep with random, the challenge is over. Sounds good. Oh, no, this doesn't feel fair. When is your turn gonna be? No, I think this is fair because I had I had the first one. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm on a roll with the auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forgot your lines! <gasps> it's terrible! But you don't let that get you down! You start improvising all your lines! And it's marvelous! Somehow, it enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something since half of your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears! You gain plus two creativity. <laughs> Is me. <sighs> Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. I will leave. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there as I was standing here, suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. I had the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morn. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. They claimed I was mistaken about how Paolo Polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. How is one even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? How, I ask you? Perhaps I offended them when I implied they were too impoverished to afford seas deeds. If so, why, I would love to make reparations. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them the gift of this omelet to begin the healing? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. Uh, <laughs> in certain groups, mm -hmm. maybe? Um, obviously. And what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... I'm not sure I want to know what these choices are going to be, but I don't have a choice but to click. Poppings or an elegant stenciled card with your sincerest apologies, a list of their fears, and a bundle Ooh, of compromising photographs. These are both good options. Toppings, caviar, eel, chocolate covered with sand crabs. I'll never forget this was a present from a mother. Yeah, all the, all the options are really good, tough decisions. <laughs> I kind of do like that one, though. Uh... I mean, to be fair, I would pick the bottom one. But that's me. Yeah. That's you. Uh, but that's a really good one! Uh... But I guess I want to help... Ah, uh, toppings. Why, uh, yes, of course! Chocolate-covered sand crabs, the food of my people. Oh, oh, good! Nothing says fit for a mermaid princess like a breakfast... That's a breakfast?! Chocolate and crabs, neither of those are should... pancakes? Oh, God. I mean, okay, if that's fair, but like chocolate on its own, mm, I guess, I guess the context, but as mm, we say in my kingdom. No, no, sure, sure, I have, I, I, I can cook some pancakes, but, but the crab, man, the crab. Hey, crab man. 
as we stay in my kingdom, wake up and smell the slowly rotting whale carcass, and then come have a bite before we head off to the day's executions. Oh, the genocide. I'm sorry. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I'm sure you have a similar saying here. Thank you so much for your service, my hero, and Godspeed to you in your seafood-filled omelet. And make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs. We can all remember how generous I was. Sweet! I, I mean, less sweet in that you now have to carry eggs filled with dead fish across campus to the Water Polo Club's headquarters. But did you see how happy Miranda looked? Happy as a clam who wasn't baked into an omelet. You gained plus two charm. In the omelet? Oh, yeah. that sounds uh, gross. Well, I can use some more money. And again, they do put ham. Whoa! That day you spent some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. Hell yeah! You're chilling out, not murdering anybody, when Damien slinks up to you. <gasps> He's hauling a large sack with the words Definitely not a corpse Noob. written on it. Hey, uh, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. <gasps> you never would have guessed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm, I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. <laughs> But let's just say he and I apparently had a very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. <gasps> Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. <laughs> this guy still has a drinking fountain. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Not just a fountain, a drinking fountain! Oh no! Just chuck him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly in, in with my collection of vintage dead bodies. Terrible. Oh. 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 And I think the I think the garage one is more safe. So bold. You throw the corpse in the back of Damien's dread chariot and hook it over to your garage. Holy hell, are these all yours? Some of these are total classics. Elvis Presley, Amelia Air. Here. Wait, what? I spent all this time what? Trying, to be, trying to be a great murderer. Fucking metal. When the greatest murderer of all was right next to me the entire time. Damien lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items. A look of awe on his face. Joke's on him. You're actually just a really accomplished grave robber. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. <laughs> what is happening? I'm, I'm apparently being accounted for, for several, for not only murder, but worldwide murder, and also a grave robbing. So like, you're doing all that while I'm over here like practicing, having, yeah. doing a play. Damn, you, you are much better at a Frankenstein than I am. I don't know, I've always thought that, that Frankenstein um, was more of a sure. theatrical guy. Alright, let's go see what the demon Miranda are up to. You find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food, as usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table. I call her Miranda Florida. when her name is Vera. I do not- I do not do well with names. Oh, not bad. Hmm, not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. 
A dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Barry's box. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me when to get me to stop punching <laughs> them. That's extortion. That's just as bad. And this is what people throw at me to keep from to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. <laughs> But I agree, the money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contracts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know no death won't save them. Yes, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those you need a priest. Priest? You know, you know how my family feels about priests. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everyone in the cafeteria at once. So what you gotta do... What do you gotta do? Uh, yikes. <laughs> what you gotta do is jump up on the table, drop a trowel, and somebody soup. No! <laughs> I guess that would work, but... This is meant to terrorize people, not make friends. And make money at the same time, I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Set the building a fire and charge an exit fee. Okay. <gasps> Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having a... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Again. Both really good ideas. Both of these are pretty, uh, wow. I mean, there's either going to be burning people or a pile of people. They could. That they could burn. I mean, really, you could yeah, do both could. of these at once. Or at least in order. Well, ha have the orgy and... In fact, you could probably make the exit fee higher if you do it after... You get the orgy started because they're going to be want to get out that much more. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, let's just play some fire. Right. I'm surprised you didn't think of that, Damien. Damien, where'd he go? Hey, I'm back. I was just setting the building on fire real quick. Yeah. Quick. Did, did I miss anything? Uh. Uh. Uh, what about the rest of the there plan? There was a plan? <laughs> Not anymore, Damien. Not anymore. Damien, immune to fire as he is, continues doing exactly what he was doing before. The fire. Feeding people oh, up for the money and organs. <laughs> oh. Well, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. If the place is on fire, it shouldn't... Well, this uh, is, a, well, this uh, is right. another lunchtime. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, the arrow keys work. Do stuff. Interesting. Hmm, well, I feel like we're, we're making progress with Miss uh, General Sino Princess over here, but should we branch out? I mean, it's up to you. Hmm, week two. Well, uh, that means we're like uh, around halfway. Uh, let's see what happens. You waltz over to Miranda and Scott's table to find them peering suspiciously into a burger. <laughs> Secret sauce. Secret sauce? What dread awesome, mysteries bro. do you conceive? Do you, do you want to take over this one? Okay. <clears throat> Whoa! Do you think the secret sauce can talk? Cool! Hey, secret sauce! What are you made out of? No, Scott! My question was rhetorical. Awesome! Mine was loud! Oh, I love him. Oh, it's no use. We will never discern the active ingredient of this delicious secret sauce. Unless... Do you have an idea, just a The blood of your father's enemies, Miranda! That's why it's so delicious! You're overthinking this sauce. This sauce made of secret sauce. Okay. Mm, I would kind of like to get to know him, but this is a way better answer. Blood? Of the air people? I didn't know the high school cafeteria cared about my family's ancient rivalry. And everyone knows the air people bleed candy syrup and barbecue sauce. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I'm gonna test this, Lucifer. 
I should have known. <laughs> you know, I don't normally eat food myself. I have serves for that. But I may have to make an exception. She, 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 what? Oh, more blood. She, she has people yes? eat food for her. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I like what that implies. Like, I don't. I, I'm not sure. I mm. no, 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 like. Do no, they no, feed no, her like no, a baby, no, like a mama bird, baby food. bird? Or she is... doesn't actually eat it herself. Like any of it. Right, right, right. But then, how, she how does she get the nutrition? Yeah. Nani. Oh, more blood. Go ahead. But I eat blood all the time, like pretty much every full moon. Guts a little disappointed, but you don't care. You're busy sharing a saucy burden with Miranda. Yeah, so Scott's a himbo. Let's Scott's trade places. Ab absolutely adorable. Hell yeah. My, my in-canon voice says, it's, it's Patrick Warhol. It's Patrick Warhol. You know. Yeah. It's Kronk. Huh. Alright, I get to go first this time. Whoa, we really yeah. are making through this. Um, sure. Alright, back to me. Uh... No, I'm gonna go to the, to the thing. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes... Oh, crazy! You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like... 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a red party. You gain plus two fun. You see Damien about to punch some noob, when suddenly a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. Hey, what the hell? I was about to punch that noob. I, I, mean, I guess I'll take I'll this take guy. Him. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him. Or do you want to? Oh yeah, go There'll for it then. Go for it. Go for it. Noobs to punch my fearsome plumber. Per 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 that per per that guy. When you know. are mine. What? I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bedroom. Oh, you oh. want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill and fuck? Okay. I wouldn't put it quite so restless. Fucking metal! Well, I would. And that sounds doper than hell. Which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still. But if Damien goes to another dimension to fuck and kill people, how will he kill and fuck people with you? There's only one thing to do. This entire shitty army using nothing but a cap, but a colander, and a grapefruit. Mm hmm. Show Damien a picture of the princess armies wearing clown shoes and assless chaps. Again, really good answers for both, but. Good choices. I think I'm gonna try to take on an entire army with a colander and a grapefruit. Persuade by force. Armed with your trusty colander helm and furious grapefruit, you charge through the rift. The prince's army turns out to be just three dudes. And one of those dudes is just two toddlers in a trench coat. Wait, I'm up kids now. You strain the shit out of them, but squeeze grapefruit juice into their wounds, and Ooh. toss what's left into a volcano. Grapefruit and wounds. Ah, uh, who, who is the bad guy here? And what's more, you live stream the entire thing for Damien to watch back home. When we get back, he's applauding. Holy shit, that was wicked. Never seen someone be so gratuitous with a grapefruit. Screw this interdimensional a-hole. I want you to teach me about using limes as an offensive weapon. The prince slinks back to his kingdom to recruit a new shitty army. While you teach Prince Damien the mysteries of citrus food, you gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Blah, 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 why words can speak them? <clears throat> you gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. Should I be different now? Nah, we're, we're we're just gonna. I'm just gonna keep going. 
that day while rehearsing. Oh no! Sorry, I read ahead. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you are struck by the. Oh, oh, I didn't read far enough ahead. I just read struck by lightning. <laughs> you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it. Also known as one of the seven most douchebaggish moves in the world. Nicknames are never self made. Yeah, but the nickname is so awesome, inventive, and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Quite the feat. Almost you gain plus two creativity. Wow. We, the devs, dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other players to call you by that name no. until the end of this run. Hmm. Well, I have been dared. I, I can't, unless I double dog dare them to do the same, but I, I, I must obey this dare. Frozen, would you please from now on call me the, the J. J. Yeah, not, not gonna happen. Damn, I have failed. Oh, woe is me. Alas, and a lack a day. Miranda throwing a hissy fit? Must be Tuesday. Still, what else are you going to do? Study? Ah! Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm simply enduring the most horrible injustice to happen to anyone ever. You shan't believe such cruelty could happen at our own school. But just today, Mrs. the Loch Ness Monster told me that I should the child be receiving a B plus in her class. A B plus, and all because I seldom attended. Does she not understand the importance of my daily royal manicures? Such a horrid grade will surely cause father to cease paying for my seahorse insurance as punishment. And then how shall suitors call upon me? Oh, the tragedy! If only someone knew of a way I could, I don't know, perhaps break into Principal Giant Spider's office, access his private computer, and alter my grade? First into tears, but eh. Stick a web of flies outside the principal's office. When he goes out to eat, we sneak in to cheat. <laughs> yeah. My ladies in waiting are expert lace makers. I'm sure they shall have no problem dropping everything in order to detain a variety of bugs. Oh, I am so sorry uh, to her ladies in waiting. I have. Ooh. Indeed, they don't, or are too terrified to object, and they create a sticky, gooey web. Principal Giant Spider emerges to gorge on dung beetles that still smell of shit, which is apparently a thing spiders like. Ugh. You and Miranda sneak into his office and, using the skills you learned in Cyber Terrorism 101, hack into the files in no time. Oh, look at that. I have an A+. Plus. I guess I underestimated my own amazingness. I am very surprised by this development. I suppose as long as we're here, I might as well fill this thumb drive with top-secret school security footage. No reason. That seems to be on the level. Definitely don't ask any follow-up questions. Just gain three charm and be cool. Hell yeah, we're cool. That weekend, something happened to... Um, sure. Frozen! Oh, no. You're doing some healthy nighttime jogging when suddenly a chariot pulled by aquatic horses, not seahorses, emerges from a nearby fountain. How does that even work? I really hope it's not the drinking fountain you made out of a corpse. Anyway, <clears throat> a door from the chariot opens, and unsurprisingly, it turns out to be Miranda! Oh! Ah, Frozen, you seem like a trustworthy person. Well, you certainly like to think so. I need to let you in on a secret. I... And don't tell anyone this. I... Shocking more. Do tell me more. I've been keeping it out of cover because I think I am falling in love with a mere commoner. Just day. Whoa! I've thrown some hints here and there. Like always wearing my crown or casually and subtly mentioning that I am a princess every three or four oh, minutes. No. But as soon it shall be time for the plot point in every good romance where my true identity is to be discovered. And she must accept me as the princess that I am. 
Now this always turns out just fine in the movies and the fairy tales, but alas, here in the real world, dictated by logic and reason. She can't mean this one, right? There are some very confused people who think that my kingdom's benign and helpful convasion of other kingdoms are unfair and therefore are against the monarchy. Naturally, I am anxious as to how someone like that might react when they finally learn my incredibly well-hidden, dare I say, invisible secret that I am a princess. What of just a? How does she feel about the monarchy? Monarchy? She loves the monarchy. That's why she voted to never vote for class president again. Instead, choose someone based on divine right. Oh, uh, have you heard? Just say he has a tattoo that says down with the Brigawise on her chest. Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Yeah, it's the top one. But no, not that one. <laughs> voting. To end voting. Why, that's one of the most brilliant subversions of peasant power I've ever heard! Just a support of a monarchy shall not go unnoticed, nor unrewarded. Assuming you consider going to prom with me a reward for supporting the monarchy. <laughs> Which of course it is! Huzzah! Huzzah indeed! You gain plus three charm. Good job, ready? Frozen. Let's trade places. And, um... The die is cast. It will be played by Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, uh, um, sure. I meant R Rob Schneider. You know, usually those movies like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's check my stats here. I could always use more money. But I could also use more fun, too. What fun it is. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full Again? crazy. You spot Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that! You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other di different ones in the school, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. Ah, you gain plus two fun. The moment that ends, the sound of masculine energy. If it's had a sound, it fills the air. Bitches. Four-legged four fuckwads. You want to take this one? Uh, sure. Look, bro, just stop hanging with our cousin Scott, and we won't beat you up, okay? It's all cool, dude. Oh, it's not all cool. I'm going to hang out with that dumb mutt whenever I feel like it. Kind of because I like him. Mostly because you can't control me. Scott's a wolf. He belongs with the wolf pack. What do you have that we don't? Muscles, we got those. Sharp teeth, we got those. Independent thought, maybe? Oh. Or at least a single thought. That's it, fire boy. We're sending you straight to hell. I mean, fine. Bring it. Oh, Damien's not exactly helpless, but this is four against one. Get in there and help a demon out. Guys, guys, what are you talking about? Damien is a werewolf. Rot battle. Again, both really good ideas, but I think I might go to rap battle. And that's okay. Indeed. A rap battle? Ah, shit. <laughs> Let's go, boys! A member of the wolf pack steps forward and pulls a mic out of his pocket. 
Why did he have a mic in his pocket? Well, don't worry about it. The rest of the wolf pack lays, lays down a sick beat as the wolf with a mic roasts your ass. So you think you're a player, but what are you playing? You could be out dating, but it seems you're mostly staying. Home by yourself, like a loser on your own. I bet you 50 money that you'll go to prom alone. You can gather your boldness, your charm, and your smarts. But you're still a lame-ass high schooler who smells oh, like God, farts. farts. <laughs> oh, shit. Those were some sick burns. You have absolutely no comeback to that level of wit. You lose face and minus two charm and minus one creativity. Oh, I can't make the, I can't make the six Wasn't... figures anymore. No! 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 I just have to make six figures and I don't know how to make them anymore. Um... How dare you? Okay, Cat is an auditorium, and if that's the store, that means I want to go somewhere else, I guess. This is why you always want to try to spread out your points a little mm. bit. Uh, just a little bit. Well then, we shall go to the Gaim. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You are clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. You join Miranda and Damien's team for game two. It goes <laughs> differently. Oh, hi. Weren't you, weren't you somewhere else a minute ago? I have no idea. Come on, shit dicks. Face the power of hell. That's quite an insult. Paint this battlefield red, Damien. Grind them all into a thin red paste. You express your worry and confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we will fight for. These are the words we will die for. Whoa, you didn't sign up to die. You're gonna stop this before it turns into an FPS or something. No, we don't. I don't know if we have the budget for that. Get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us, but we won't waver. Yeah! Uh-oh. Oh. You didn't have enough boldness. You didn't have enough boldness. You did it bad. No! That's right, I am the narrator and I'm sick of your shit. Oh, what's this? Looks like the opposing team had some reinforcements the whole time. 15 orcs, three bears, and 100 goblins. And a dragon that's also a machine gun somehow. Did, did you just go I'm sorry. Person? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Yeah, it turned out that the narrator had more power than expected, huh? You should have thought of that one before you fucked with me. I won't even give you the pleasure of narrating this bullshit. You wake up in detention, your team is lost, oh, everybody hates- Oh shit, you did kill him. And I'm making you lose minus three boldness so this doesn't happen again. No! Oh no! Oh, I really fucked up on that one! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Uh, Let's go, uh... Oh! Great! Ooh! Well, I am going first, so I'm afraid I must... I must, uh, early word gets the worm, as they say. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating surfs ch- mm -hmm. Wait, so that's really what she does? Eating serves chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. Hey, I'm getting in there. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, the silverware is not for killing. for stuff other than killing. <laughs> That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, Eat. Your serves do it for you. I can't believe this is real. 
Well, of course they do. They're not e They're not using any of your silverware. That is a good point. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands, as wow. befits the lower class. So, you're saying... Uh, so, you're saying saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose. Yeah, I sure know how to pick them, huh? Things have practical purposes? I I'm sorry, what language is that? These two could go round and round, like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Yeah, nothing much, man. We're just, I'm just doing a collab with just a guy here. Hello, greetings! He's another toku tuber. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, oh, we have a, oh, but this one gives, oh, <gasps> this one we use a nickname for her. Oh, this is, this is hmm. I don't want See, if it was me, I'd think uh, this one is more intimate because we're using the nickname, but we're not so, we're uh, disagreeing with her. No, no, that's oh, not, that's, that's, so, that's so unfair. Why you're her nickname. It's, it's, the, it's a demeaning nickname. You're not giving her her full name, <gasps> just showing disrespect to her lineage. Uh, uh, all right, well, I guess we'll, we, I mean, we already basically pledged our life to her or something, so lay off. Lay off. What about your exotic corpses? That's, that's different. Those corpses are useful. Useful or, for what? Or holding down important documents. Huh? What important documents? Documents about very important... Ah, oh, fine! I guess I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in a shed and occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. That's kind of cute in a way that only I makes sense in this the universe. The entire time. There, you happy? Extremely. Whatever, I'm gonna go play with my corpses. This time it's going to be that that uh, Mormon play. Yeah. Oh Lord, you stay behind with Miranda to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to use the romance for. Um, sure. Uh, you know, I want to see what uh, Nosferatu Jr. and the Scarlet. You find Liam taking a picture of his food and Scott taking a picture of. Also, Liam's food? Ah, yes, Scott, snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. Um, uh... Artistic what? I'm playing Pokemans Go, the mobile version of the hit Pocket Humans video game. What do Pocket Mans have to do with my food pick? There's a level 43 Bernard Henson hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott, why does your phone show a tiny human doing pottery on top of my eggplant ravioli? You mean you don't know Bernard Henson? He used to be a chartered accountant, but now he's decided to pursue his dreams of being a world-famous potter. That major life change has made him super rare. Pocket humans almost never follow their dreams. That's actually a good game concept. It is, but it's also oh. very biting commentary. I don't care how rare he is, his presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it? But pocket humans are way cooler than a boring old food pick. Haha! <laughs> you take that back! Uh oh, tempers are running a little high. Looks like it's up to you to settle this dispute. Alright, uh, Scott's right, Liam. Why well, take a normal cliche food pick when you could take a food pick of Scott capturing a Pokemon off your food pick? Hey, Scott, look over here! There's a steward of Hogwarts on top of that pile of, sm of mashed potatoes! I mean, these, these kind of both are towards Scott, it feels like. 
I also kind of want to see him mm. dive into a mashed potato. No. <laughs> Stuart Hogarth, the strongest accountant type Pokemon in the game? What, what does this even mean to be a strong accountant? Is, is he like any good at math? No, he's just super buff. The buffest accountant. <laughs> I've got to have him. Scott bounds across the cafeteria and practically dives into Gary Gremlin's mashed potatoes, yes. looking for a Pokeman to capture. Do you think he actually knows how to play Pokeman's Go, or do you think he just likes to hang both, both, uh, both are completely legitimate. Yeah, the two of you debate the question while you help Liam line up the perfect food pick. Later, he lines up some very hard picks of you. Uh -oh. I'm not cheating! Oh my. Gasp! The die was cast. Oh, we're oh, close. Yeah. Is this is this like... Uh oh. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, we just gotta stick to the end. Auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good or inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. You start singing, and everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you are arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. My great aunt, sea monster, unholy terror, may crack and face so cool. Has just received an award for her work with an award, an award, not in a word, an award for her work with shipwrecks. She's now one of the leading causes. I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the Postal Service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Well, um... It's because of, uh, well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to, um, do something congratulatory for herself, you know. Uh, just, just get her the letter. There's something fishy about this request, but you've never let that stuff you before. Apparently you're into fishy stuff, so you come up with a foolproof plan. Hire Scoober, the underwater taxi service, to deliver the lever for you. Dynamite the toilet, dive into the sewer, and swim there yourself. Not Fuck old. yeah! If you want something done right, then there's absolutely no way to pawn it off on someone else. You do it yourself. You grab the stick of dynamite you won from Damien in a game of multiplayer solitaire. When did that happen? And head to the bathroom. Using all the finesse of a rhino with a sledgehammer, you blow that motherfucking toilet to bits and dive in head first. Unfortunately, some monster was enjoying the cafeteria food a little too no, much in the- Oh, to God. To the, toilet. <laughs> the toilet is clogged. Well, it was clogged. Now it and its delicious contents are plastered all over the walls, the ceiling, and especially you. You call Crazy Martin in to clean up this mess up, but he seems to think this is on you, culpability-wise as well as literally. Miranda finds you scrubbing half-digested ravioli out of the floor tiles. Her letter totally lost. No! I mean this both in reference to your physical stench and your performance as a friend. You stink! Harsh words coming from Amanda. Miranda, you lose minus two charm and minus one fun. No! Well, I could use some more money. Oh, well, it was actually last week. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Oh, listen to your smarts. <laughs> that day, you would listen to your elders and learn valuable no! lessons. 
true torture. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of this high school. You gain plus two smarts. GG. It's later when you're minding your own business and definitely not doodling, doodling pictures of Damien in your notebook. When you see Damien making his way over to you, at which point you definitely do not need to hide your drawings. So here's the thing. You know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful fuck doors? Man, this guy's insults are great. I actually think you're only 70% awful oh. fuck door tops. In fact, oh. I, I actually think you're kind of rad. I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing... Nothing's as rad as intentionally sickening, sticking needles into yourself. To create a permanent image on your skin for fucking ever. I thought maybe we could get matching tattoos if you, if you can come up with something rad for us. Oh, fuck this up! It's time to suggest the baddest, raddest, maddest tattoo of all time! Which is... An what? on fire pentagram made out of pentagrams, and those pentagrams are made out of guns that shoot pentagrams, and the pentagrams are on fire, and the fire is on, also on fire. I say control, but... Mm. Something simple, something complex. Uh, huh. Not so fun. Uh, dude, I don't even know what that means. But you're rad. I'm rad. Getting stabbed with needles is rad. Let's go for it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Feels amazing to have Damien's blind trust in you, and having picked the best sea creature of all, you know you'll keep it. The two of you head to your separate tattoo beds and make finger guns at each other. Beep -beep -beep -beep, as you're inked. When your tattoo is finished, it shows a sea cucumber in the middle of expelling its own organs, something you hope Damien will be impressed by. But when Damien show his use you his tattoo, it's literally just a cucumber in the shape of a sea. Ah. Oh! Communication! Damien is displeased and immediately scrubs his new tattoo off. No, no! Using your face. No! Right when everything was going so well, you destroyed Damien's trusted you and lost I two slots and one charm! I just gained. Ow! <laughs> sure. At least you have a tattoo of a sea cucumber. Oh, I'm so glad I'm a zombie. I can just like, peel this right off. That's kind of true. Oh, God. What's the problem, Jasmine? The most... The... Who will you ask to prom? None of them. Myself. <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> ask Miranda to the prom. Yes. And I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, I oh god, like. the heart beating! You... Yeah, toki toki! Toki toki! You finally pick up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster farm with you. Eek! My sisters told me that I could get diseases if I dated commoners. Stuff like crabs! Ow. Oh, poverty! Um... Harsh. I mu must decline. Epic loser. Ah! Failing at monster prom broke the essential process of growing up in your life. You became fixated on it and you never became a functional adult. Now you're just an old person that sits at parks and talks to strangers about the time you almost got a date at the monster prom. It is as weird and as um, sad as it sounds. Right, real. Let's see how much I, I failed. Rip me! You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? With you? 
you crack. dumb fuck. That's a fucking crack. Yeah. Are you some kind of genius hey, or something? Hey, at least one of us got it. I tell you what you are. <laughs> My date the prom. Let's set the world on fire, baby. Yeah. Prom night was crazy intense. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien was always getting into fistfights. For which Damien punched him, starting yet another fistfight. You joined in and fought with him back to back. Hot! It was a super sexy choreographed fight, and you even exchanged trusting glances while watching over each other's backs. <gasps> oh, that's practical uh -huh. porn! And that wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's rear. He's a catcher! Oh, wink. <laughs> Jesus, dude! Frozen, most likely to be tasty if eaten by other people. Miranda, most kingdoms invaded. New zero new secret endings, 19 new events, new. Da, da, da. Whoa, holy Christ, yeah, this is there a, are a lot of endings. This game. And that's just not by playing through, not like matching up characters. It's not just matching up characters that causes endings. Mm. There's a whole bunch of other stuff too. Me. I don't think. Mostly weeks. I don't exactly what yes. else there is, but yeah. Mostly weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and. Learning about who we were and who we could be. Well, I didn't, apparently. I apparently just became old and yelling at people about the prom. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. Yeah! Um, congrats. He's written a book about it. Miranda used her vast knowledge of surfs to get a job and picking the best surfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful because she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Okay, <laughs> mine actually says her greatest inventions. Yeah, mine says Vera for real? The, the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's huh. no. It's known that they're also into a lot of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about oh. it. I mean, who the, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? Huh. Alright, well, I've got her greatest inventions so far. Watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called Ella's Dope. But, okay, yeah. Wow, I didn't get that one. That's interesting. Is it because of who we interact? Well, yeah, I mean, I know I kind of interacted with Vera more often. Hmm, that's true. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war. All youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to we're start. We're all above 18. That's not necessarily young. Yeah! Yeah, this that was is fun. Good. If you ever want to be doing a, a visual novel with friends, it's this game. Let me see here. Like... It seems like there's a ton of content oh, yeah. to here. Yeah, there's a lot of here it. too. And, and we only got two endings out of this. We got one successful one with Frank, and then one unsuccessful one with uh, Vicky or whatever her name is. This also apparently has. Mod support yeah, mod and like support, custom, custom stuff. Support, and just there's also sequel. The... That's yeah, this wild. Game, this, this got a lot of backing towards it. 
a lot of people loved how just insane it was, so... Yeah. It is, it was, it's just a good game. It's a good game for... Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I can see. Unlocked, you've just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about oh, to get no. weird. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got, I got the same one too. You have unlocked 10 new images in the gallery. Yep. Well, okay. Um, well, now what? <laughs> Sorry, that was a. I, don't, I didn't mean to word it bad. I'm um, like, you want to do another round, a shorter round, or something else? I, or... I'm losing feeling in my butt. Is the thing. Yeah. We're, uh, then we're you want to wrap up? Hours here. We can do that. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> All right. Well, then I guess we can move on to um, saying our goodbyes, yeah. our so longs, our farewells. And so on and so forth. Um, all right, citizens. Um, I was just a guy. This was uh, Frozen, Frozen Traveler. Um, it was oh, a lot yeah, of fun collaborating with you. Finally. Can't wait to do more collaborations <laughs> with just not you, but anybody that asks at this point. Yes. I, I think I might just leave my Saturdays open for just collaborations. With hmm. either with you, some other friends I got that wanted to do collaborations. I know uh, a friend of mine wants to do Sea of Thieves together. So, oh neat. We might be doing that next week. Okay. Oh, thanks for the water redeem beloading. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I might. Unrelated. I might stream again in a little bit. But for now, I think we should uh, thank everyone for coming. Thank you all for coming and joining us and watching yeah. at least Frozen <laughs> get a date. I mean, I would, say, I would say it's a little bit unfair Maybe because I actually knew how to play the game a, a little bit more than you did. <laughs> ah, still. Are you saying I can't play the yes. game of love? Oh, it's my, it my MO. <laughs> <laughs> well, be that as it may, I'm afraid that, uh, citizens, it's... I'm just a guy, and this is Frozen. You can find Frozen at at Traveler Frozen on Twitter and at Frozen Traveler on uh, yeah. Twitch. You should do that. You should go. You should go to those things and find him. And, and from follow us him. to you, you guys, it. have a nice night. Take care and travel on. Go f go follow uh, Just a Guy on his Twitter at Just a uh, Just a Guy, and also his Twitch at Just a Guy. Indeed. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Farewell.